Hi, it's Richard here, and this is the first installment of my new video series entitled, How to Get the Shot. What I'd like to do is inspire you as photographers to see and capture the large expanse of the sky and landscape, but also the fine details in the smaller objects that we come across in our quest for a great image. Today, we're on the farm property at Rostrata Country House near Tarnagala in central Victoria, which is the venue for our night photography weekend workshops. The farm is full of great subjects to photograph and the owners have been very kind to us, giving us access to heaps of lovely old machinery and vehicles. During a recent workshop at Rostrata, we came across this beautiful old trike sitting on the bank of the dam. So we did what any group of night photographers would do, we decided to shoot it against the backdrop of the Milky Way. Today, I'd like to run through my settings to get the shot you are now viewing and also give you a behind the scenes look it had to go about positioning the trike so as to maximize the angles. You may remember in a previous video where I explained how to use Stellarium, which is a mobile phone app to locate the positioning of the Milky Way. This shot was taken in May, so the Milky Way core was rising in the eastern sky in the early evening. So all I had to do was work out the compass bearing by using Stellarium and wait until the Milky Way core was high enough to be in the background of my image. Since my last video, I've been using another very handy app called PhotoPills, which has been around for quite a while for iPhone users, but only recently became available for Android. It's a very comprehensive program, but the most useful aspect is what's known as augmented reality. All you need to do is line up your camera to the scene in front of you and gently scroll the screen to see where the Milky Way will be in relation to what is in the foreground. The red dot is the center of the Milky Way core, and the time is displayed on the screen to assist you in planning to get the shot. The program is great and very handy to take the guesswork out of planning a shot. Okay, so how did we get this image? Once I worked out where the Milky Way would be in relation to the trike on this dam wall, I needed to place my tripod very low to the ground in order to frame the shot and get the background trees below the horizon. I decided to use the Sigma 35mm f1.4 lens on my Nikon D750. Because I wanted to blur out the stars and focus on the trike, I made the decision to shoot the lens wide open at f1.4. This is something I don't do often, but with the lens of this quality, I knew there wouldn't be any problems. So, all I had to do was set the focus onto the trike, and because of the close proximity to the camera and the wide aperture, this threw the background stars nicely out of focus. This is somewhat different to what we normally do as Nicecape shooters, as we're always trying to get everything in focus, but on this occasion, I think it works. Firstly, it saves me from constantly bending down to the camera height to press the shutter, and secondly, it gives me time to position myself somewhere else to do any light painting that may be required. Speaking of light painting, this shot was lit for a fraction of a second from behind down the other side of the dam bank with my trusty torch. Okay, now to the camera settings. As mentioned, I use the Nikon D750 and the Sigma Art 35mm f1.4 lens. The D750 is an awesome camera for so many reasons, but one of my main requirements in a night camera these days is a flip screen. I simply wouldn't be without it on any camera. So my standard practice is to set the camera to expose for the background and add whatever light is necessary to light the foreground subject. For this shot, I decided on a 10 second exposure to ensure minimal star movement and I set the ISO to 2000. The white balance was 3450K, but I do remember warming up this a little bit in Lightroom later on. As you can see from the final image, there was a fair bit of fog around the trike and this actually added another touch to the shot. When you look closely at the image, you'll see these awesome spider webs all over the trike. Funnily enough, I didn't even notice them when taking the shot. So the process of actually taking the shot is quite simple. I hid myself on the other side of the dam bank and started the exposure remotely with my wireless trigger. I then gave a quick flash of torchlight which had the effect of lighting up the trike and the fog, and then I waited for the 10 seconds to elapse. So there you have it, that's how I took the shot. I hope it's been helpful to you and I look forward to catching up when the next episode comes online. Okay, take care.